right, my sisters are here. And like I said, I'll be introducing my sisters now. And of course, the beautiful Rosie on my left. Hi, Rosie, how are you doing? I'm fine, fabulous, fantastic. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I like the energy that you came with. And Felicia. Felicia, <laughs> today you're not the birthday girl no more, but hey, how are you? I'm fine. How are you too? I'm fine, thank I you. I really love the earring you're wearing. Thank you. Cutie. Someone gave it to me. Someone special gave it to me. But oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, of, obviously, joining us again is Wena. Wena, ooh, aka ooh, Apolline. Ooh, I know her as ooh, Apolline, ooh. but her name is actually Wena. <laughs> Hi. Hi. How, are, how you? are you, my darling? I'm very, very well. I love her dress. So yeah. Well. Yellow and rising. Mm. Hey. <laughs> you guys are too much for me. Where did that come from? <laughs> Yellow and, and rising. rising. Just oh, well, too yeah. much for me. Pure sunshine. But that's why I love you guys because obviously you are full of knowledge. Because that, that can come so easy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you're full Yellow of knowledge rising. and obviously you're going to be helping um, these people sending out their messages of worries to us to help. So actually, and I believe you're actually going to help them. Oh, yeah. So are we ready for t the first letter? Oh, yes. sure. All right, so the first letter, and we are going to go through it. But remember, you can also join the conversation with the hashtag Sister Sister on Twitter and also on Facebook. All right, dear sisters, I've been having an affair with my father since I was 15. I got pregnant in the process, and that was when my mom found out. She threatened to disown me, so I had to come out clean that the pregnancy was for my father. The shock of this got my mother always thinking because she had no one to talk to. She fell sick and eventually died. Um, my father and I continued our relationship despite knowing it was wrong because we were so much into each other. After 20 years of this amorous affair with my father, I finally got married and moved in with my husband. Though married, my father and I are still together. My father always takes me on vacation, but my husband never complains because he sees nothing wrong with it. I'm 35 now. I have three kids, and they are all my father's. But nobody has ever suspected because I look like him. For some time now, I've been feeling bad about the whole situation. I want to tell my husband, but I don't know how to go about it. Sisters, please help me. And anyway, before we go straight into this story, <laughs> I'd like to introduce the only man we always have in the house, Bruce Services. Bruce, Bruce Services. So Bruce, what are we going to be having today? Obviously, you've heard the story already, and it's very heavy. So we will need something to help us cool down. So what are you going to be giving us to? Today, I'll give you guys a big breeze. A bay breeze. Bay breeze. Bay bay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, 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 yeah, we need the bay breeze. <laughs> yes. We have to breathe it out. Now, this one there is heavy. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's heavy, right? Very, very, very heavy. It's heavy, right? Yeah. Very okay. Heavy. You're welcome to the show, Bruce. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So while we're waiting for our bay breeze to cool us down, sisters, over to you. It can't be me. It, it can't be you. Felicia, I'm going to start with you. To be honest, my heart skipped a bit. Yeah. Okay, let me take it in one last time before I speak. Your father. This can never, ever be right. Regardless of how you look at it. To the extent that you lost your mom, that didn't take anything away from both of you and you continued with this relationship mm -hmm. and you have three kids right hmm. okay so i'll approach it from a spiritual angle mm -hmm. and also from a physical angle which is a mental problem because <laughs> if you're nobody in their right state of mind who First of all, get themselves in this situation, stay in this situation, expect to continue being in this situation. Like, 
Hmm. I, I really, I honestly don't know what to say because it's too heavy for me. Yes, I know girls are attached to their father. So let me start breaking it down from how this thing started. Yeah. Girls are usually attached to their fathers for some strange reasons. Girls like uh, find themselves closer to daddy, daddy's girl, daddy's Yeah, just girl. like how boys are, boys with, their are with their moms. Yeah. What I believe happened or I feel happened here was like my, <laughs> when I will say there was something inside a man. This man had a drive. There was this heat, hunger. this volcano, this hunger that he's carried on from wherever it came from, either from childhood, from a trauma he experienced, something he's been through, and took advantage of his innocent daughter to get her involved in a situation. Nobody knows what he tells her beyond whatever physical thing they engage in and has managed to tune and manipulated this girl to accept and believe that whatever they have going on is right. Taking away from there, I feel the woman did a mistake when she heard it. Yes, I understand that she got emotional. We, we, you know, in this part of the world, we don't have a lot of, um, how do you call it, facilities, Shrinks. resources. Sorry? We don't have a lot of strengths. You know, to to handle these things, and we don't even know where to look, like who to look to, because when you take it to church, which is the place we all usually run to with our problem, you'll be judged. Because mm -hmm. this is a very sensitive issue. When you go to the doctor, a medical doctor, or it's, it, you know, it, it becomes a bit. Are you going to tell the doctor that my head aches or my leg, to for him to write a referral to a, you know, a specialist or what? I think she should have put herself together. To try to end it while she was going through her own problem she should have found a way to find um, help for them well she's gone these people are in this and another person comes in that's the husband what relationship does she have with her husband how close are they right because i'm sure if they had a special bond they, he could have picked some signs he could have asked some questions like be a bit more curious because yes we all have good like lots of men have good relationship with their father but when it's a bit extra you should know that no this is extra why is he only taking my wife to vacations without me mm -hmm. or without the kids mm -hmm. what is so special about that vacation the man was not asking any questions. I truly believe that there's a, these people are mentally unstable. They have a mental problem, spiritually too. They are possessed. Mm -hmm. So if we talk about it spiritually, I feel there's something going on. They need to speak to um, someone, a spiritual father, a spiritual leader, to help them break whatever bond is between them, get away from this. On the physical aspect, they need help. They need psychological help. They immediately because it can never be normal on all grounds culturally <laughs> morally spiritually spiritually physically what kind of kids have they given birth to this is incest mm -hmm. what is going to come of the offspring of these kids what are you going to tell them that so, is grandpa you know, yes, it's too it's, much. I think, yeah, I'll have my sister say more it's, because I it's too much it's, for me. It's very unfortunate. I think it's sickening. Mm -hmm. I think it's, it's just below the belt. Not long ago, I was watching, I chanced upon a video on mm -hmm. YouTube about mm -hmm. the same issue <laughs> where the lady uh, was confessing to have been having an affair. Uh, no, it is not called that affair. Sleeping with the father. Uh, her, almost like I think up, up until uh, age 15 and guess what the man told her the man the father says I want to teach you how to be a woman mm -hmm. and that every father does this the child is young this is a trusted voice this is a trusted person in her life and then the man says that's how every father does to their daughters so he takes her to bed 
you know, do whatever he has to do. And that one, I don't even know whether you should call it force himself mm -hmm. on mm -hmm. her. But it happened and then it became um, a, a, a routine. She also got pregnant out of it. And then social service has to come in and then take the kids. But the man is sick. When you look at the man himself, I mean, I, you, you raise the question, like you said, what happened in his own childhood? Good. At what point was he himself? Because definitely, you know, we only give what we have. Yeah. We express our countenance. Mm -hmm. Something entered him. Something okay. was, he was introduced to something. Mm -hmm. Maybe very young, okay. yeah, and then was made to also believe it was okay. okay. Mm -hmm. So when he grows up now, you see the thing about trauma is the part of you, like the age you were when the trauma happens. Most of the time, you get you get stuck in that, in age. that age. So even though your body grows, the, that part of you. And unless you actually like deliberately heal it, mm -hmm. you desire healing for it, okay? That side is always there. The child never grows. Mm -hmm. So if you feel like a child in your spirit, you want to play with children. You find children attractive. Mm -hmm. It's unfortunate. I really don't know, but something, something was done to this to man. Mm -hmm. I met a man like a friend who told me that he was introduced, I think it was a, a nanny or an, an older auntie, was he was made to, you know, perform um, by go down on hair. So for a long time, this boy grew up with his face between this woman's leg, and that's all he knew. In his relationship, even when he grew up and he wants to go down on a woman and the woman says no, he didn't understand it, why a woman should say no. So there are, there are women in society who praise on young boys, introduce them to these things, forgetting that these boys are going to grow up to be men, to be fathers, and then these things will linger on, they will inflict other boys or other uh, uh, young girls with these things. So when we are doing these things, you know, we talk about the result today. Okay? We talk about the result today. But this goes to the women who like to play with children's private parts or older men who try to play with uh, 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 younger, like younger girls' private parts. Just be aware that you are duplicating, you are replicating, you are creating yeah. a monster. A monster. Yeah. Whatever, whatever you're doing, it can, I mean, there is consequence for all our actions. So yeah. when these things happen, there are even cousins who, you see that cousins and are it's sleeping. Very it's, it's very common. They don't get to talk about it, but it happens. But the thing is, where does it happen? Like, where does it begin? How does it begin? Parents should always pay attention. If you know your child, you've given birth to your child. You've observed your child, her reaction, his reaction. So when things begin to go off, as a mother particularly, pay attention. Sometimes we don't even spend time. We don't give in time to our children. We prefer to go running after a uh, riches contract. But the best, the, the, the ultimate investment is the investment of time that you make with your child. Mm -hmm. If you don't do that, you don't train your child. Somebody else will. And in that training, what are they? What what seed are they planting? planting. Right, and but but in this situation, it's the father that is training the child. Child. Oh yes, but the, the, I mean, I'm coming from a place where, yeah, generally the child, the father too was once a child. Right. Right. <clears throat> See, my take is I can understand that you go through abuse. It affects you, and then you all sometimes subconscious want to inflict on somebody else. Yes. But you see, somebody can be a mass murderer, but there's something that prevents you from wanting to murder your own child. Mm -hmm. So there are people who are known for certain things. They can inflict the whole world with it, but they will not inflict their own child because there's a part in your brain that should register that this, this is, is my child. My child. Mm -hmm. So, for instance, all the things that you go through in your back end, it may even affect your relationship with your wife. It may affect your relationships growing up. But once you have a child, that should change. 
Now, the only condition I can see why he would justify such an act is if the child is not even his child to begin with. Yeah. Right, but maybe right. the child doesn't know, doesn't know that this is not my biological father. But that's father. not even a cause. Hold on, let me finish. Let me finish. I'm saying that, for instance, if the child was adopted, or the child was a child that the woman brought home from another man, mm -hmm. and just to save image and whatnot, they have decided to keep that a family secret. Mm -hmm. That is the only condition under which the man, in his warped mind, can justify <laughs> wanting to have an urge to sleep with their child. It is not justifiable because once you take on the responsibility of a father, mentally, psychologically, physically, you need to be the child's father. Exactly. Yeah. However, let's assume that the man has knowledge that this is not my child. This is an adopted child. This is an unwanted child brought by my wife, but because I want the family to be succinct and mm. everything, I have accepted the child as my child. Mm -hmm. So there's a part of him that would justify the fact that this is not of my blood. Mm -hmm. So medically, there's nothing wrong with sleeping with this girl. Mm -hmm. Because medically, it's not like incest, like you mm -hmm. said. Mm -hmm. Because you don't share DNA such that the offsprings are going to be horrible. Now that's it. That is one angle. The other angle is that this relationship started when she was 15. Genius. Clearly a minor. No. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And for me, that is a crime. Clearly a minor. That is a crime. And you see, sometimes, even though we feel like our children are 12, 13, mm -hmm. think they know it all, they should know it all, they are still children. Mm -hmm. And he is coming from a place of authority, mm -hmm. a place of lack. Because a child looks up to the father, like you said, that father-daughter relationship, mm -hmm. and feels like, oh, this is my dad. Mm -hmm. Everything is about the dad. I mean, sometimes, look, it's, it, it's, it's annoying. Sometimes, even with my little girl. You can do anything for her. All she needs to do is to have her father walk there, Daddy, Daddy, as if you don't even mind. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's like she can be professing her love. As soon as the father walks through the door, Daddy, Daddy. And you see, it's, it's, that's how the world is designed. Same thing, my son. I'm sad he's, like the, he's all around me. Mommy, you'll be okay. Mommy, this. And he's always Mommy, Mommy with me. That's how somehow nature has placed things. This. So this man is coming from a place of authority and you're supposed to give your child security, mm -hmm. love, affection mm -hmm. in the right context. Mm -hmm. So which means that at the age of 15, and she said he started having sex at 15, which, but I'm sure that the, uh, uh, preparing her psychologically to start having sex with mm -hmm. you started mm -hmm. much, much earlier. Yeah, exactly. Sometimes it may even come in so the I form of care. Yes. Yeah. Oh, what is wrong with you? I have a problem with, oh, let me check. What is this then? Oh, my hair is itching me. Oh, let me check whether everything is okay. You know, little, little things that mm -hmm. is misconstrued as care. Mm -hmm. And maybe from childhood, he and this girl will go on walks, will go on this, will go on that. Even back I mean, together. Even that, for my, things. look, in my case, when I had um, Dante, I mean, my husband could easily change diapers. It's not for anything, but when I had Danica, unless I'm not around, he was more comfortable with me doing it. And I don't think it's because he can't do it. But sometimes, when you have a little girl, when it comes to there needs to be some funny, there needs to be some boundary, sort of. So the girl can know that no man can just, you know, I don't know that you understand. Oh, I, I, I see I that picture. Of so at the end of the day, and for him, like for instance, as much as possible, like as a man, even as a father, you should hide your nakedness from your children, children. your girl children, mm -hmm. especially. You understand? Mm -hmm. And me too as a mother, hide my nakedness from my sons. Yes. You understand? Because some of these things, they play funny in a child's, child's mind. mind. Mm -hmm. Because the mind is not developing and the mind is so wide. It's feeding on all manner of things. Now, it's the lady who is sending this information in. Mm -hmm. So normally I try to talk to whoever is sending the information in. My dear, your father is not a true father. Your father has done a disservice to you by wanting to believe that this relationship is right. Mm -hmm. Now, your mother found out mm -hmm. and caused your mother okay. to even die. And even after that, yes. you show no remorse, mm -hmm. your father shows no remorse. So at the point where your father was giving you away, was giving your hand away mm -hmm. in marriage, what were you thinking? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Now you have three children that are not by your husband, but by your father. What are you thinking? Is the husband How even are you justifying all of this to make it right? 
this innocent man is feeling like, oh, this woman has a fantastic relationship with the, the father, father. And it's even justifying it because the mother is no more. And the father only has her as a daughter. So he's okay with the man having vacations with the daughter because, listen, the man doesn't have a wife anymore. Mm -hmm. So maybe that relationship with the daughter is what is keeping the man going. So that means you've met a good man who understands you, mm -hmm. who is willing to give you privileges to do things that you want to do. How unfair, wicked, and feeling can you be? But I don't blame you because it's your father who has nurtured you, you from that this. time. Like you said, their characteristics, I mean, on the other show, you said that there are things that we see in ourselves growing up and we grow up yes, with yes. so some of these if things. If you don't do anything about mm -hmm. it earlier. Exactly. So you see people who play mom and papa mm -hmm. from childhood. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because they justify sleeping with siblings, mm -hmm. I mean, they're not having sex, mm -hmm. at least they are touching, kissing, they justify it. They grow up and you think it's okay to do with their mm -hmm. cousins. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you have been indoctrinated by your father from childhood, thinking it's okay. okay. What you need is psychological help. help. True. What you need is an inter urgent intervention. Vention. To not only see that it's not right, I'm, I'm being very careful with my choice of words because we've had a similar situation on this show. Mm -hmm. And when we try to reach out to the person with a psychologist, the person made sure that her phone was off and unreachable. And then we had a CTFM program and the person showed up and introduced herself that I am the one who sent it that message. But the way you bashed me really hurt me. Yeah. So I don't want to bash her like you have done something so wrong. What I'm trying to say is that it is wrong. Not that you have done that. It is wrong. You need help to understand it. And they need to go back into your cognitive, mm -hmm. your childhood, yeah, yeah. to break it down, down, to see what the issues were, why you needed your father's love so much so to the extent that mm -hmm. having a sexual relationship with your father seemed okay. And why you were so unbothered about your mother finding out and even passing on to the extent you carried it on and had two more children with this man. Mm -hmm. So I want to be very careful how I bash you. So all I will say is that, my dear, it is a medical condition. Mm -hmm. It could be a spiritual condition, medical. Yeah. It could be anything. It is. That's what I'm saying that it could spiritual, be spiritual, medical. But whatever it's it is, just a condition. It's, a, it's right. a condition. It's a condition. Whatever it is, the father had a big, big hand, hand in it. Of course. Yeah. And whatever made the father feel that it's okay, okay to sleep with the daughter is also a disorder. Yes. Right. Right. It's also a psychological disorder, disorder where you can't differentiate the love for your child and the love for a woman. woman. So all you see is, well, she's a woman. She has breasts, she's developing, she has calves, she's ripe, and she can take it. That would be the whole story. And a minor. And a minor. And someone he can even control and tell what to do, what not to do. And this is somebody who actually has love for him from mm -hmm. the very beginning. Yeah. So what I'm trying to say is that it is a condition. Mm -hmm. Whether you want to treat it as medical or spiritual, it is a condition, a condition that, we that has to be addressed. Be addressed. Yeah. Unfortunately, in Ghana, yeah, we have a few very good psychologists. And if she's really interested, she should reach back onto the show after yeah. so that we can give her Those, the help yeah, that, that she needed, needs. Yeah. And it's not going to be an easy journey. I should take that help and then let the husband know because some of these things, hmm. a time will come, some DNA will come. Yeah. Yeah. Some blood, 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 matching, blood, something will, something yeah. will come. It's the health of the kids. The health of the so anything. And I'm saying that at that point where you are breaking the news, be prepared that that is the end of your marriage. Yeah. This, oh, that, yes. that luckily, luckily, you that. luckily, you have three children of your own. Mm. I'm saying your own because you can't go saying that the children are my father. Mm. You have three children of your own. Carry your kukunkaka, your cross. Be prepared mentally to do that. But please, get, in, get back in touch with it. Let's give you a, a, a medical psychologist. If you want spiritual help, I'm sure Wenya or somebody can also recommend, <laughs> or Olivia or somebody can recommend somebody they think that they can help, like, they can yeah. help you with that situation. Yeah, but, I, but whatever it is, get in touch definitely. and let's get you definitely. help. Thank you, sisters. I really wanted to shout preach at the, at, at, <laughs> on the last line, but um, I'm not going to do that. But um, it has been a very heavy and complicated yeah. story. Like, 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 so like we didn't even know that. where to, you know, start from, start from yeah. and, and then how to end. But I'm yeah. glad we actually found um, ways to navigate through this story. Yeah.